Hello, welcome to Math is Digital. My name is Aaron, and today we're going to discuss Equate. What is Equate in InfoBasic and how it is used? From the documentation, we read that Equate is used to declare a symbol equivalent to a literal, variable, or simple expression. A symbol is the name of symbol to use. And expression can be literal, which means a value, a constant, or it can be also be a variable or a simple expression, like 1 plus 1. So why do we need this equate? And where is it used? Well, to be able to demonstrate this, let me first go to the... Let me first open this file. So this is an insert file for account. As you can see, we have this little word, equate, okay? E-Q-U, as you can see, we can either write it in full equate, or we can shorten this just to E-Q-U. This will be equivalent. What it means here, it means that wherever we have one, we can use either ac.customer or account underscore customer to mean one. Okay, this is what we read here. To declare this symbol, which means to declare this ac.customer or account underscore customer is equivalent to this literal, which is one. It is easy to remember the names than the numbers. This position can change, but if you have used the symbols to mean those positions, then it's okay. So let's see how we can use the same concept to improve our local development. I wrote this program in one of our videos on a local field, how to create local fields. This is one way to represent a transaction. But can we improve this? Yes. Because we are passing this uh, transaction to this subroutine and this subroutine uses this transaction and as you can see we say transaction one transaction two and transaction four we're extracting these positions from this transaction which we give now what if we insert let's say reference on the first position because any transaction has a reference well, if you do that, this will not work properly because we are expecting on the position number one, we're expecting currency. Now, if we put reference on the first position, currency will be equal to the reference, which is wrong. Can this little keyword equate? help us to improve our program? The answer is yes. How can we do that? We can either create a separate file or we can put it here, okay? So as you have seen, we can either type equate in full or just EQ. Now, what do we want? We want to have currency on the first position. So we can do, we can write currency, and you want this to be at the first position. And let's say this is amount. I want this to be, okay, let me do this. I want this to be on the second position. But there's also an improvement I can make. I can have, I can put a comma here, and this will allow me to remove this EQ, and I can continue the same. For instance, I put uh, debit credit, CR, ER. I can say this is going to be assigned to three. And I have payment details or details. I 
and this is on the fourth position. Okay. Now I can rewrite this as simple as transaction currency, for instance, you can say equals to USD transaction amount. can say transaction amount is this one transaction credit debit here I'm saying it's a credit and transaction details Can put this so let me comment out to this so this expression is equivalent to this the same same way that I would uh, how would I have said transaction one okay but here I'm using currents, okay? Good. Now, this is okay, uh, but uh, I've done nothing because uh, our, in our subroutine, I'm still using the po these position numbers instead of uh, Now, if I want to reuse this, what I can do, I can move this in a separate file, an insert file. First of all, let's see if this is going to work. I told you it's going to work. Matthews.pp test program.p. Let me delete this program. I'm going to paste updated source code. Successfully, let me run it. As you can see, it's still working properly. Now If I want to reuse the same position, then I need to put this in external file. So I can cut this. I can create a separate file. For instance, let me name this um, it's an insert transaction. It's not a it's not a dot b because it's not a subroutine. But this allows me to do things like this. Now, here I can do insert. This transaction. All right underscore transaction now since I want to copy this on uh, t24 in a folder called mathis.pp so I need to write like this now let me create this file on t24 we're simply doing j mathis.pp I underscore transaction. I'm going to paste and I save it. Now 
I can change my program. So it's good. I do. Let me delete this one. PCR. All right, as you can see, the program is still working, okay, properly. Now, by externalizing this uh, insert file, I can use it in any other program or subroutine. So, which means if I move it here. If I copy the same file here, I can use it the same way I'm using T24. Insert files, which means I can now get the positions. Instead of using this position number, I can use the fields which have been defined. Currency is one. Just grab a currency. And I can grab the amount. And uh, this is going to be details, which is number four. Let's replace everywhere we have. Now, this looks good. Why? Because we, we are not relying on the positioning numbers, but we are relying on these symbols, which are equal to those updated fields. Let me grab this name. I'm going to amend the subroutine. JTMathc.pp Let me delete this. I'm going to grab the updated source code. This is version 2. And uh, well, let me just keep like this. Dead. I did. I underscore transaction. Okay. Let me grab this. Paste it here. All right, it's formatted. If I let me compile it, so do basic. I need to insert T24 AP. Compiled successfully, then I need to catalog, catalog successfully, then let me run my program, which is test prog, all right, you see it's still working properly, but all I've done is a major improvement, because if these positions are to change, the program will still work, okay? We can mess up with this uh, file. Let's, for instance, uh, let's add transaction on the first position. Uh, like, let's say reference. To one. 
this is going to be two, it's going to be three, this is to be four, this is going to be five. Okay. Let's grab this. We we change FD. We create it. F5. I do just transaction reference. I can give it a reference. Just add this transaction reference. But this subroutine does not need it, and I don't want to even to change my subroutine because I don't need require this. But these changes just happened on the program. This will not affect at all the subroutine. Nothing will be affected because I've just updated this insert file. This does not have any impact on my subroutine or my program, even the way it is now. Or for instance, I can still run my program and get the expected behavior. So the changes on this does not really affect. But I can also use it if I want. Any subroutine that relied on this file will still work. And any program which also relies on this will still work. Which is different from this one or the previous subroutine. Okay? Thank you. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. You now know how to use Equate. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Please like this video and share the same with your friends. See you next. Bye-bye.